So I'm going to try something a little different this time. I'm just going to show you guys the screenshots of how I made this. Essentially, it's just a, a hitbox or a collider that's going to create on top of the house, on the house's XY position. Essentially, I just made a, yeah, just a regular collider, a blank object that creates on top of the house. And when the player touches it, the footstep sound effect array will change. And the looping random footsteps will change to the indoor footsteps is essentially how it works. I'm just showing right now, I'm just showing you guys the sprites and the objects and the basic code that I use to do it. Right now you're looking at the objects. Underneath OBJ D3D house, you can see the collider object. The collider object is going to create on top of the house, and I'll show you guys that code here in a second. The house will create it on top of itself. Mm. This is the this is the collider for the house, the object. It's completely blank. It's just the object. This is the creation code for the house. When the house is created, it's going to create that collider, the sound collider, on top of itself, like I said before. Now we're going to reopen the D3D viewpoint object, and we're going to look at the step event. This is the step event for the D3D viewpoint. Basically, and it's, a, it's an array that will randomly change the footstep sound effect at the end of every step. So if you're sprinting, it's 20 milliseconds. If you're not sprinting, it's 8 milliseconds. Or, I'm sorry, it's backwards. But, yeah. If you guys want to pause this and copy it down, feel free to. Um, this is pretty much the end of the video. This is a simple tutorial. Uh, they'll be more in-depth later. Probably in the next video. I'm not sure what I'm going to show you guys next, but I will touch on that. Um... And I guess I will see you guys in the next video.